Hello and welcome back to Still There. What are we supposed to do now? I need to create a duplex path between the high frequency antenna, the modem and the mainframe to use this. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Maybe let's check logs. I erased all previous personal logs. Too verbose and overall meaningless. I know I have to keep a diary for my own psychological health. But nobody say I can destroy it whenever I want. I should get back to my novel. I dealt with that tooth for like the death time. Now I'm already thinking this might not be a good new first log. Maybe I'll delete this one too later. Most people don't even care about giving titles to their logs. For me, it's my favorite part. The rest is just filler. Filler, 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 filler. Blah. Done for the day. Uh, that sounds as if I'm already really writing one log a day. That won't last. Upon further consideration, the title of this log is a lie. Honey thinks I took this job to get away from her and from Eshe's memories. She stopped writing a long while ago. The truth is, I'm here to get away from myself. People say that when you travel you can be a different person, but that never lasts. Space is different. You're truly, essentially alone out there, out here. Remove any living presence around you and the self-deprivation is complete. Nobody can perceive you. After a while, you stop perceiving yourself too. Nothing special to report. I live in routine and boredom and I'm totally okay with it. Where I am, where I an aristocrat, I would call it annoy and feel oh so fancy. I was feeling kinky today, tried to have sex with the periscope. I will not go into details, but let me say that I won't add it to my things you can fuck without causing physical or mental traumas list. Dream about my Esha again. I was sitting in the control chair. She was standing in front of me. She looked beautiful and young like the day she died. We were holding hands, spinning around and round in a vertiginous ballet. Except there was no music, just the whizzing and puffing of the decompression chamber, like the big bug bad wolf getting ready to blow the house away. I shouldn't write these dreams down, they're not good for me. I felt dizzy today and lost track of the time. For some reason Gorky hasn't, wasn't his usual annoying self and he didn't jump in to scold me and tell me to get back to work. I can't believe I just admitted that an AI has a habit of scolding me. What have I become? Dear Brain Co, if I ever discover that you're reading my personal logs, I promise you I will destroy Gorky and stop working until you send a shuttle to bring me back. Just saying. I know Honey thinks I never truly accepted that she moved on. Or that she married Anders. I worry about it now and then. Instead of worrying, I should just tell her that I'm happy, whatever happy means for me, that she's in a good place with a good man, not around me. The space around me stopped being a good place to be a long time ago. I can't remember anything, but I know I've been having nightmares for days. They leave traces of sweat in my bed. The injections don't seem to work like before. I asked Gorky to request a stronger version. The nightmares aren't stopping. When I wake up, nothing stays in my conscience memory other than this image of a shiny rhombus, almost like a diamond. Let's see... okay. Hey, you should have just arrived at the space lighthouse. Was the travel okay? I hope everything is well, even if I don't understand why you had to go so far. Or maybe I do. With love, honey. P.S. Send this mail days ago so that you could receive it today. This time delay will make things even weirder between us, huh? I guess that's what you wanted. Hello, Operator Carl Humba. This is Corky, your friendly space station AI. We spoke yesterday, but I wanted to write to you in private. Don't be like Salvatore. He's too rowdy. That wouldn't work in the long run. Again, welcome aboard. P.S. 
heartburn after reading. I know that mails take a long time to travel from where you are, but yesterday I should have received your reply, yet there was none. Is everything okay? Please let me know. You know I worry about you. With love, honey. Ah, the mail elf arrived. Too busy on your first day, I suppose. Glad to know you're okay. Here everything's normal compared to where you are, even if I wonder... Maybe a routine job in the deep space is more normal than a routine job here. It has less distractions and less um, deviations from the daily normality, whatever that may mean. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. Kisses, honey. Good day, Carl. You wanted to extend our company compli compliments for a job well done during your first month. We know it takes time to acclimate to the distance solitude of the bento, especially after your instructor and previous occupant, Salvatore, left. You seem to have adapted splendidly, though. We anticipate wonderful years ahead of us. The next reviews will be carried out by Gorky. He is our proxy and has our full confidence. He can be a little excessive sometimes, but our experts free program him to feel human. And a valid psychological aid. Andrew McLashan, Brain Cone Support. I know you don't want to talk about it, but here I go. She would be 20 years old today. I threw a small party. A word so inappropriate hit so right, as a celebration of her life. What little of it she had. Anders was obviously there, and some close friends. Annabelle and Lisa say hi. I made a little speech where I knew I would cry, and I did. A lot. Then Anders hugged me and stayed with me, and somehow by the end of the night we were dancing, and I was laughing, and I think she would have liked that. I really love Anders. He isn't you, but you haven't been you for so many years now. I hope one day you will come back. I mean, really, come back. All the love in the world and beyond, honey. Okay, I think that's it. Let's go back to daily tasks. Set up a simplex communication with Brain Co. Okay. Uh, after completing all the other tasks, you have to set up a simplex. Mainframe, modem, HF, antenna, link path. The details about the links between systems are described in technical manual. And the first one is for the antenna. This is Salvatore's handwriting. He must have tampered with the Bento's hardware in classic Salvatore style. The first, di the first dice indicates how many correct private key digits you entered, regardless of the correct position. While the second dice gives you a hint in order to find the correct position of the digits you entered. It tells you how much you must move a wrong place digit to put it in the correct position. For example, if you insert a digit in the second position, but the correct position was the fifth, it gives you the distance between 2 and 5, which is 3. If multiple digits are misplaced, it only gives you the largest of such distances and ignores the others. Okay... The link system allows me to create a connection between 8 systems. And we want... Uh, mainframe to modem... Mainframe to modem... Simplex? Simplex. A to B. A to B, antenna to mainframe to modem. Mainframe is TR6. So TR6 to modem to TR7. And HA antenna, which is the R2672. This one? Yeah, let's take it with us. This one. Six. Uh. This diagram represents the jumpers console on the right of the main frame. So it's six to seven. Mm. And mo 
modem to antenna and 722. Help. What do I said about simplex communication with brain call? Check the manual, then use the jumper panel to connect the mainframe to the modem and the modem to the HF antenna. Okay, I think I did it. Apparently no. A modem. This far in space is distant for communications, but awful for downloading porn. Also do it like the other way. No, not this one. Okay, input modem into mainframe into modem and then modem into antenna. What else? Or is it the other way around? There's no incoming pick and request, and that's not a panel. Hmm. I need to create a post path between the high frequency in, in, in the modem and the mainframe. Oh. The other way. H22, H7, and T6 to T7. Ah! Congratulations, you have completed all your daily tasks. Am I getting a prize for this? Sure, your prize is the warm feeling that your life has a higher, more exploitable meaning. Okay. I shouldn't delete this and start on you. Hey, don't be too hard on yourself, Carl. I'm just being realistic. Oh. Okay then, you write like shit. Even shit is written better than your code. Oh, feasty. I like it. You should use some of that when you write. Open your eyes, said the dream, and Sal woke up. He went straight into a hot and cold shower, drank some leftover, or leftover coffee, paused a moment in front of his suits as if they weren't all identical and there was a hint of choice involved. Tai Adai took his bed. As he left the building, he realized something was wrong. Darkness had engulfed the soft, comfortable shades of the early morning. Goosebumps crawled over his skin as a myriad of small, shiny eyes stared at him from the black veil that had replaced the sky. So shook his head, checked his watch. It was 2.46 a.m. Not 8 a.m. at all. Why did he... Why am I writing this? Tomorrow I'll delete this and start again. What do we have in shop? We can buy, buy 2 liters of mayo for $5, mini dishwasher for, dishwasher for 1200 or Diablo Comics. Comics. Pay a switch, game consult, what? Okay, satellite expander or just music collection. Let's not buy anything just yet. Hey. Lilo. How's it going? I'm kind of terrified that one day you might answer. I don't know if I would make... I would take it as I finally gone mad or... Oh my god, aliens. Don't worry, I'm good, dude. I know that's you, Gorky, and not Lilo. I applaud you. So this is yet another day where you haven't gone mad. Lucky me. Unless... Unless I don't really exist. Have you thought about that, Carl? Fuck off, Gorky. One day I'll have you. Leo's little food bar. I have no idea what this hard disk stores, but it's something about Lilo. Lilo's temperature bar. 
this is the vivarium temperature from minus one to two. Okay, you're the happiest when it's like this. Apparently, Salvador was really interested in second-hand satellites. People do that as a risky investment sometimes. You send your satellite somewhere far, and if it finds decent enough data, you can resell it for good money. Is there anything else worth doing today? I don't think so. I have to inject the serum first, even if it's not helping with the dreams anymore. What serum? Uh, will you have it in some kind of first aid kit or... I don't like you, Mr. Syringe. You're a real prick. I need to take one of these every night before going to sleep. I feel dizzy. This doesn't look good. subjective by time. What memory would this be? All this year you've stood there frozen, immobile. This memory is a lie. But I am in space. I am not. Daddy? Esha? Oh, Esha, where are you? You know where she is. You know it so well. She is where the pain is. She can't move from there. see her. Turn around. I, I, I can't. Turn around, Carl. I can't. Then wake up, Carl. Wake up, Daddy. Open your eyes. listening to me? Uh, no, but don't let that stop you. I said, it seems there's a message broadcasting on the wide end, but the reception is not working. A broadcast? This is weird. Let me check it out. Signal strength low. The signal is very weak. The system can barely receive it. I have to find a way to amplify it. Mm, oh, okay, not yet. Let's see the technical manual. Mm. Not this. SOS. Um. To end another day of penance on Holy Mary's Interstation. Oh, this signal. Salvatore was haunted by it. Apparently, it's the cleanest, most widespread signal in the universe. In Italy, it's so strong that sometimes you can hear it coming out for off intercoms. 
Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostrae. Good morning, Beetlejuice Z9. What our forecast today? A week shower of meteorites around moon, Ben. Give me your love, I'll make you pancakes. Give me your hate, I'll make you beans. This is the emergency line. I shouldn't use it for other reason. Oh, I thought they were broadcasting over there. I need help. How can I amplify the signal? There is a signal amplifier somewhere in the control panel room. You could connect it to the control panel, then have a wire the link system to let the signal pass for the amplifier. Uh, okay. This opens the door of perception. I better be wearing the spacesuit if I want to press it. This one beacon keyboard. Um, I don't think this is it. Maintenance tools. Where is it? Oh, I can't even. Oh. Signal amplifier in this room. It should be attached to some device. You could connect it to the control panel. Okay. This is a special of disbelief. The loading decision would implode. So that's not it. It would be a lot easier if you told me which one is the amplifier. Ham radio. It's stuck, I can open it with my bare hands. An anonymous panel to hide anonymous hardware. Is it buzzing? Just tell me where it is. And this one should be attached to some device. It should be attached. This is not the one. Gorky Park. Somewhere in this room, but do you mean this room like this or you mean this or overall as a room? My bed's computer contains a handy library of movies for the bored astronaut. Mostly porn to be honest. Also would be useful if we could see in this how the amplifier looks like. Wait. I mean, 
this. Uh, Periscope's hard disk. So that's not it, I guess. Hmm. I have no reason to pick up that hard drive. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Cases inserted in the energy recovery box. This electrical panel is not operative at the moment. The manual override becomes active only when the band encounters a major power outage. Yes, 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 thank you.